Hello my dear students, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Last time we had a discussion about the definition of research and we also had a review on the steps of scientific method. Today, we will have a discussion about the quantitative research, its characteristics, strengths, and weaknesses. channel, I share educational content for senior high school students, particularly video guides for the self-learning modules. Bigyan niyo po ng suporta ang channel na to sa pamamagitan ng pagla-like, pagko-comment, pag-share, at pag-subscribe sa aking channel. Maraming salamat! To start our discussion, let us proceed to our slides. This is our first lesson for Practical Research 2, Quantitative research. Kung wala pang pandemic na to, normally, at the end of this course, students were obliged to defend their own quantitative research before graduation. However, maybe, in our case, based on our melts, we may be writing na lang our research for submission. That is, with a constant guidance from our teachers. So what is quantitative research? Quantitative research is a type of research that involved collection and study of numerical data. Here, we have our keywords. Quantitative research is a research that involves numerical data. Meaning, you would want to find answers to questions how many, how much, and what rank things are through research. Pag gumagawa ka pala ng quantitative research, yung gusto mong malaman is nag involve ng mga data or information na pwedeng magulang. For example, a plantita wants to know the effect of different amounts of fertilizer to her snake plants. With two plants having the same height and conditions, she puts 10 grams on the left side and 5 grams on the right side. After a week, she saw the difference. The 10 gram fertilizer made her plant grow 5 centimeters, while the 5 gram fertilizer made her plant grow 2 centimeters only. In this simple study, makikita natin na numerical values or numbers yung data na kinuha niya sa experiment niya. With this, we can say that she conducted a quantitative research. Quantitative research follows the confirmatory scientific method because its focus is on hypothesis testing. So what is this hypothesis testing? Hypothesis testing is doing testing and experiments on your hypothesis para malaman mo yung data na kailangan mo at para masagot kung tama ba yung hypothesis mo o hindi. Dito mo rin malalaman kung dapat mo bang i-accept or i-reject yung ginawa mong hypothesis at kung pwede ka bang gumawa ng panibagong hypothesis o i-disregard mo na. Next, in doing quantitative research, it is important to conduct reliable experiments and giving credence to existing theories. Meaning, quantitative research, importante, sa, importante talaga sa kanya na reliable yung experiments na ginagawa mo using the right variables and you are giving credentials to the existing theories because it values exact numerical data and generalizability. So, we can see that quantitative research really is unbiased and objective. Next, so what are the strengths and weaknesses of quantitative research? Quantitative research is a valid way of conducting results and it is considered as the most reliable design. Since quantitative research involves numerical data, its results are precise and accurate. 
If you have a bigger number of sample, the more reliable and valid your results and generalizations are. Through hypothesis testing, it gives way to a new hypothesis or to disapproving hypothesis. So yun nga, yung sinabi ko kanina, dahil nga focus ng quantitative research ang hypothesis testing, pwede mong ma-accept or ma-reject yung hypothesis mo at dahil dito, pwede kang gumawa ng new hypothesis or i-disapprove mo yung hypothesis na nagawa mo. Next, properly designed researches give objective, unbiased, and real results. Experiments in quantitative design filter out external factors and if properly designed, can be real and unbiased. So now we have the weaknesses. So quantitative research could be time-consuming, costly, and challenging for non-mathematicians researchers. In most cases, researchers just conduct the experiments and they seek help for, from mathematicians for the analysis and statistics statistics of the data. This is true to some students who takes up their thesis. nag experiment sila, gumagawa sila ng research nila, tapos yung makukuha nilang data, minsan nagpapatulong sila sa mga statistician para makakuha sila ng accurate na computation. Also, quantitative research can be time-consuming because you will retest and refine your design if needed. Dahil nga gusto natin na properly design ang ating quantitative research para maging unbiased. So next, quantitative research gives proved and unproved results only. So there is a little room for uncertainty and gray areas. Those are the strengths and weaknesses of quantitative research. For review, number one. Quantitative research is a type of research that involves numerical data. Number two, quantitative research focuses on hypothesis testing. Number three, quantitative research is considered to be the most reliable design in conducting research. And lastly, quantitative research can be time-consuming, costly, and challenging if the researcher is not knowledgeable of the methods he or she can use. So to further assess, let us have a short quiz. Answer true if the statement is correct and false if it is wrong. I will give you a minute to answer the questions. Are you done? Okay, let us answer. Number one, in quantitative research, a sample needs to be large enough to properly represent a population. This statement is true, correct? Next, number two, hypothesis is an assumption or prediction on how variables relate to each other. Your answer is true, correct. Number three, quantitative research includes interviews that may be described in narratives that points out themes and trends. The correct answer is false. Good job. Next, quantitative research value the depth of meaning and people's subjective experiences and meaning-making process? The answer is false. Number five, quantitative research includes numerical data that is describing how many, how much, or what rank things are. The answer is 
through. Good job for everyone who got 5 over 5. If you got 3 below, you can review your module or replay this video. We will continue our discussion on the next video. If you have comments or suggestions or questions, you can ask me through the comments. Thank you for listening and please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Adios and see you soon. Bye!